All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and move. UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Khabib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbula get in there between rounds. Little guy's got a lot to say. <laughs> this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Sabine Nurmagomedov, impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Working the inside of that lead leg. Early connection with the left from the champ. him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Nurmagomedov. Deep now. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Big right hook there by Champ. Followed by the right. Nice kick. Wow. Nice. Slow 
flips the punch nicely there. Nice side there by the champ. Just over three minutes to go round one. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. All oh, shades of Leon Edwards. Headshot, bang. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown here, but he misses. Lands with the lead, right? Both fighters throwing heat now. Beautiful kick lands there. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Oh, and another nice combination, just absolutely picking him apart on the feet. I'd probably be tapping him. I mean, he is destroying him, but don't sell yourself short. You don't tap the strikes, you go to sleep, John. But this guy has been putting combinations together just so beautifully. I don't know what he can do to try to change it. Nice leg kick there by Nermago Meta. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Nurmago Medov gets up. He is back on the feet here. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish it. He's got it locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Oh, nice. Fast leg kick lands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. there you go. Fast jab lands there. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Final seconds here of round one. Round two is next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, how good is that kick? And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Hands higher, hands higher. Fighter lands a left punch now. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. 
great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yes, yeah, out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to taking on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. He worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills in his showing right now. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Three minutes. Big power shot there. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counts after blocking shots. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. Nice knee. Oh, another knee. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so, though. Quick jab. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but... He certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off after several failed attempts. He finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Discriminate. While not a guy you want on top of you, ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Nemago Meadow. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon, but that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done a fantastic job of doing that because he's setting traps. As his opponent steps left, he just steps to the left. As his opponent goes right, he goes right. He does not follow. He cuts him off trying to beat his opponent to where he's going before he gets there. This man understands foot movement. He understands traps. It's great to see someone with that type of knowledge of cornering his opponent. Ooh, big shot lands. Beautiful body kick. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Our right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. 
but you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we move forward in this fight. Nice pass. Oh, he's got a choke. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, he's getting submitted. Good work. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards the corner, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast. I did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in in largely D.C. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Two minutes to go in the round. The right hand just misses. Slips the punch. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. I like that kick there. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Back to his feet. Nermanko Medoff's punch to the body there. Doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, no! All right, 45 seconds now to go with the round. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out. But you got to like the output on display here. 15 seconds remain in the round. What a beautiful head kick land. Single leg takedown. Oh, he's got his back. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. 
what a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic right, chin, but he just right. needs to stay the course. Right. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go for the extra 10 minutes. It got checked. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this early. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. So aware, he never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get sucked. Slips the left hand. Oh! Feels like the beginning of the end. So the bruising on that thigh is getting really bad by the minute. He's going to have a hard time walking in the morning, and this fight could end in short order. Well, even in between rounds, the corner needs to be getting ice on that thigh. He's been beat up in this area. This guy's leg is unrecognizable. Under three minutes to go in round four. So the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Hook to the head, lands flush there. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Oh, Superman punch. Good block there. And that one certainly found the target. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking for survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final belt. Nice block. Let's get some points. Let's get that takedown going. Real quick leg kick. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round, and as he did, he probably got back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Marco Medov circling to his right now. Nice work, guys. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Back and forth we go. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Straight punch. That is useful. The single leg. He 
doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Nermago Mena. Nice leg kick. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Not there. Back to his... What a round it was. There's the horn. Two knockdowns. Certainly a 10-8 is plausible. We'll see if his opponent can make some adjustments here. It's going to be tough. J.A., I thought it was over. Yeah. I thought it was over. I was yelling, it's over. It's over. After the first knockdown, dude gets up and gets knocked down again. He understands now he has a very tough competitor in front of him. But he needs to stay patient. Go find another big shot. Be confident in knowing that eventually the finish is going to come. You ready to fight? Ready? Go. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Nurmago Medov's left leg is damaged now. You can see he is limping. It was that last kick from his opponent that appeared to do the bulk of the damage. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. He checked that last one. Oh, and he caught the kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Tonight, the ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 44 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nermano Mera. And still undefeated, and now a knockout artist. Perhaps not, but Khabib Nurmagomedov getting it done by TKO here tonight. He's always been sort of underappreciated as a striker.